Hey everybody, Nick Rudder from McKees37.com. Um, we're at my house, it's Saturday, and today's project is gonna be a very comprehensive one. I purchased this GTI Sport a few months ago. It has the performance pack, so it has the really aggressive pad and rotor combination, and it produces a ton of brake dust. Um, even after I wash the vehicle and I drive it maybe 15, 20 miles, it just, it looks awful. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take off the wheel and I'm going to clean uh, and decontaminate the outside along with the barrel and then I'm going to replace the brake pads with these Power Stop Evolution Sport Carbon Fiber Ceramic Performance Pads. I discovered these on another YouTube channel with a um, gentleman that has the same vehicle as mine. They're supposed to produce a lot less brake dust and I've had a, a shutter in the brake pedal at certain speeds, so I'm also going to replace the um, the brake discs as well. And this has the same brakes as the Golf R. That's part of the, the Sport model, so it has these massive rotors. So I'm going to take everything off, replace these, and while the wheel's off, I'm going to deep clean it outside and in, and then like I said, put the ceramic coating on. I'm actually going to feature our ceramic wheel coating kit, so you have an idea of, of what it takes to do this the right way. So. I've already broken the lug nuts loose. I'm going to jack the car up, get this wheel off, clean it. I'm going to uh, detail the brake caliper and ceramic coat it as well. So hang on and stay tuned. All right, so I've got the vehicle off the ground. You can see my jack here. No, I'm not supporting the vehicle with the jack. That's a, an extra safety precaution. I've got the jack stand up in the front on the cross member and another jack stand on the back. And anything you see in this video, I'm not a mechanic. So take it with a grain of salt. This is not a how-to video for replacing your brakes. This is simply a car guy um, going to a great extent to reduce the brake dust buildup on his wheels. So now the vehicle's jacked up. Now, one thing I want to point out, I've done this a million times, but I just recently discovered these jack stands, or excuse me, jack pads. You put this on your jack and you have your, your frame and there's a, a section where it's twice as thick. That's a jack point and the frame part sits in there and it just gives extra cushion. It's an extra safety measure. Really nice. A two pack of these are like 10 bucks. And this is my first German car and unlike the American and the Japanese cars I've owned, this is really interesting. Instead of having a, a stud that the wheel sits on, you actually have lug bolts instead of lug nuts. So there, you can buy the special tool online. So when you take out the first lug bolt, you put this in so when you take out all five, the wheel doesn't fall off. <laughs> and one thing I, I've learned to do is you can take your socket and wrap some electrical tape around it and that'll help prevent any scratching on the inside of the barrel here where the lug nut goes. So once you have your first lug bolt out, the point of this guy is you stick it in there So when I take the rest out, like I said, the wheel's not going to come crashing down. If it were an American or Japanese car, you'd have the lug, the lug studs so that the wheel would rest on. But German cars, of course, they have to be different. got the lug nuts off, or not the lug nuts, the lug bolts. I've been saying lug nuts for 32 years. Get the wheel off. And you can see what I'm talking about when I said that it gets really dirty. I mean this wheel, I've, I've cleaned the car about a week and a half ago, so four or five hundred miles, but it even looks like this after driving, you know, 30, 40, 50 miles, and then it gets worse and worse. So this is a gloss black painted uh, inside spokes, and then the front is a machine finish. So it's a really beautiful wheel when it's clean, but German cars are notorious for having really soft brake pads. So when you hit the brakes, you get excellent stopping power, brings the car down quickly. However, produce a ton of brake dust. So today we're gonna fix that, and you can see the barrel. It's pretty shot too. So we'll be cleaning and coating everything. I'm really excited to do this and I'm even more excited to film a video. 
And then there's also the brake caliper, which I have yet to detail. It's part of the performance pack. It has these, these uh, bigger calipers. Basically, the way brakes work is the larger rotor, more surface area. The larger brake caliper, more surface area. You stop the vehicle in a shorter distance. So I'm going to get my supplies, my, my chemicals, and my tools to clean this. That'll be the next part. In the meantime, I'm going to take this off, and I have these wheel spacers as well. There's a company in North Carolina, they're called Shop Dap. It's a Deutsch Auto Parts. They sell Audi and German parts and tools. Fantastic company. I bought these wheel spacers. They're hub-centric. They are designed just for this vehicle. They're not a generic one-size-fits-all. If, if you have an Audi or Volkswagen, really improve the stance of the vehicle by having the wheels out just a little bit. Awesome investment. So stay tuned for the next part. I'll be right back. So I re repositioned the camera. You can see how dirty the calipers are. I purchased this vehicle used. It had uh, 23,000 miles on it when I bought it. And you can tell that the brake calipers, which are a nice glossy red, have really never been deep cleaned. So I'm going to use our extreme iron remover. And the reason I'm using this over the wheel cleaner is because this is a less viscous formula. And since I'm not rinsing anything, I can wipe this off with a towel without any issues. So I'm going to spray the caliper generously. An extreme iron remover, it's safe on all painted surfaces, over sprays, not going to hurt any brake components. Um, it's one of the color changing iron removers. And you can see that I'm using it in close proximity and I'm not coughing or hacking, and it's because um, we have a really, really fine chemist and he was able to take the bad stuff out of this formula that makes him smell so awful. Now, I'm not going to say it smells good by any means, but it doesn't smell like death, like some of the other, other iron, iron removers. Spray my little detail brush, and you'll, you'll hear me mention these brushes in a lot of my videos. I have three or four, one for interior, one for wheels, one for exterior washing, yada yada. And this is 23,000 miles worth of caked on brake dust, dust on these calipers. And extreme iron remover is just melting it off. It's doing a fantastic job. Not that I'm surprised. And I find this really therapeutic. You know, working on cars used to stress me out. And then recently I discovered that now that I'm older, and I'm not working on them to fix them to be able to make it to my job so I don't lose that job, and then I'm working on them for pleasure, I've actually, um, it's taken the stress out of it. Now granted, if something goes wrong, of course that's stressful, but you know, I used to work on my own cars when I was a kid because you know, I didn't have the money to have a, a shop fix them, so I'd buy the tools and I'd go to the, the local auto parts store, Napa, and there was an older gentleman, and he could answer any question that you had about just any car, and if he did not know the exact answer, he would get you pretty darn close. But nowadays, you can sit on the couch and not leave the house, order your car parts off Amazon, find a YouTube video, kind of like this, and then you'll be an expert. Just spray a little bit more on there, and there are some spots that are a little more stubborn, and I actually uh, when I take the caliper off, I'll probably do some more detail cleaning for some tighter areas, but I'm a, I'm a big picture guy overall. So if I can get this 95% of where I want it and spend 75% uh, less time than trying to make it perfect, I'm going to take that. Well, I believe you should always aim for perfection in, in you know, what you do. Uh, always do your best. That's one of the four agreements. Uh, I also understand the fact that this is a daily driver and I mean, it's, it's brakes, they're designed to get dirty. And then I take an old rag, just a towel I have laying around, not one of my nice ones, and I wipe off the excess. Again, this does not need to be rinsed off. This is a very safe chemical, despite how powerful it is. So I'm just gonna wipe off the uh, extra liquid with the 
the brake dust that was removed too. So already a big, big difference. There's some spots down here that I'll I'll take care of once I actually take the the brake assembly off. All right, so we're about three quarters of where I want to be with this caliper. The rest of the cleaning I'll do when I take this off and take this off. Because if you recall, I'm replacing this rotor as well. And I'm really hoping that it's going to solve the vibration issue that I have in the brake pedal at certain speeds. So stay tuned for more. Okay, so I've got the wheel off. I've got it on top of an old five gallon wash bucket. I like to call this the Justin Sherwood method. I see him post photos all the time of his wheels on his buckets. So the wheel coating kit includes the foaming wheel cleaner gel. I'll get that close up. And then our tire coating kit, which I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna coat these tires yet, to be honest with you, includes our tire and rubber rejuvenator, but I am gonna, going to clean the tires anyway. So foaming wheel cleaner gel, it's pH balanced, non-acidic. I'm gonna spray it all over the wheel. And this wheel is gonna bleed like a stuck pig. And yes, I'm gonna use a lot because my goal is to clean these wheels, not impress you folks with how little product I use. Spray the backside. Again, you'll notice I'm not coughing or hacking. High quality chemistry, high quality product. I'm not gonna go out of my way and say it smells pleasant, but for those of you with sensitive noses, I wouldn't really worry about it too much. So what's happening is there's an iron uh, dissolving component in the foaming wheel cleaner gel, just like the iron remover. And as it interacts with the iron particles, it breaks up and it dissolves them and as this chemical reaction happens, it changes to a reddish color. So the face of the wheel will be the easiest to clean because when I wash the car, it, it receives the most attention. I have used our easy detail brush and the barrels, but never to this extent. So I'm going to take my detail brush and get in there and get this thing clean. So I'm confident that between the new brake pads and this deep cleaning and ceramic coating, my white GTI is going to stay much cleaner. The, wheel, the wheels, I mean, at least. Because there's nothing like having a white car and then having, you know, you spend a couple hours on a Sunday after church making the car look perfect by cleaning it, and then you go to work the next day and the paint looks great but then your wheels just look like garbage. So that, that really irritates me. I'm just gonna wet my brush so a little more lubrication. Also flush out some of the, the brake dust and the grime. All right, I'm gonna carefully turn the wheel around best I can. I'm gonna spray just a little bit more cleaner. No, I'm not gonna clean the backside of the tire. And we sell these, um, these short handle wheel and tire brushes. These are great. I don't use it on my tires as much because my GTI has low profile tires, but for my wife's CRV, which you can see um, behind the wheel, the family truckster, this brush is perfect for those tires. But I love using it to clean the wheel barrels. It covers a lot of area. Because to be honest with you, on a normal Saturday, um, I have much better things to do than to take my wheels off and clean them in the driveway. 
but this is something that needs to get done. Look at that, all oh, that gunk. So I'm happy to do it. And I'm excited to share this with you guys because if you're anything like me, you really enjoy watching YouTube videos. Um, I haven't had cable in over three years. We have one channel and that's the local news. And um, after we watch the news and Jeopardy and, and uh, all those shows, I put on YouTube and I watch car videos just like this. And I find it extremely therapeutic. So these are cleaning up fairly easily and that's because the foaming wheel cleaner gel is pretty powerful stuff. While I have it here, I'm going to go over the tires, tire and rubber rejuvenator. using our um, stiff low profile tire brush, which is part of the tire coating kit. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna coat these. I'm gonna get new tires pretty soon. One thing I dislike about rotating your tires or taking your wheels off is if you're like me and you buy sporty cars with sporty tires, it's kind of depressing to see how fast the tires wear. And that GTI has got a stage one APR tune and uh, front tires break loose off and so I, I'll be buying tires frequently. Our fire hose nozzle, get to rinse this bad boy off. Turn the wheel around. Oh. All right, so the wheel is clean at this point and so is the tire. There's some areas like this that are just rusty. Uh, this vehicle came from Connecticut. And no, I'm not going to worry about getting the adhesive off from the wheel weight. Although, um, now that I look at it, I don't see any weights on here, which is really odd. I know it did not fall off. That's interesting. And I just had the tires balanced, or the wheels balanced, um, not too long ago because I had a vibration at 83 miles an hour. I'll have to double check the garage floor. I know I didn't take it off now, but anyway, this will dry. I'm going to take the brake disc off and brake cap. All right, so while the wheel and tire was drying out in the sun, um, well, I did use a towel, I, I wiped it down, but then water drips from spots here and there, so I let it sit out in the sun. While this was drying, I took off the brake caliper along with the caliper bracket. And the next step is to apply the ceramic wheel coating. And applying this is similar to waxing your wheels, except it's going to last a heck of a lot longer. And this will protect the wheel against corrosive brake dust particles. So the ceramic wheel coating, I've got a few videos on this. It's a big four ounce bottle. It comes with a dropper and an applicator pad as well. A little bit goes a long way. It protects the wheels for a couple years. That's right, years, not months. And it'll make the wheels much easier to clean. So between my new um, brake pads and the fact that I deep clean these wheels front and back and applied the ceramic wheel coating, these wheels should remain much, much cleaner. So I started with a fresh applicator. Just gonna spread it out to evenly distribute it. And for uh, complicated wheels, we've got some really nice finger pockets, which I showcase in the video with the, uh, the Challenger Hellcat. But this wheel's pretty easy to coat. So I'm just using the, the regular applicator that, that's included with it. You simply apply a nice uniform coat. I see some overspray here from Volkswagen when they painted this wheel, that's interesting. I found similar defects on uh, Hondas I've owned with the same wheels. To be honest with you, I hate this style of wheel with the gloss black. I like silver painted wheels um, or machined clear coated. 
the whole gloss black trend it has to end my wife's Honda has it the last two Civics I've, I've bought had it uh, it's just it's it's very frustrating all right so I've applied it to the entire face of the wheel I'm gonna take my towel and I'm wiping off the excess the way a coating works is the nano glass ceramic particles are suspended in a liquid that's the actual liquid that's called the carrier and when you spread it out and you apply it it has a uh, a flashing time and once it's flashed which to keep it simple by the time you finish coating the face of the wheel the coating is flashed and what's you wipe off the carrier which is what I'm doing now I'm wiping off the excess of the carrier but the nano glass particles they're staying behind and they're filling in all the microscopic pits pores and valleys and it, it already looks fantastic and now I'll turn the wheel around again I've got the Justin Sherwood method we'll see if Justin watches this video and, and notices that put some more coating on there and one bottle it'll do every wheel in your car club I mean it's, it's such an incredible value in the world of coatings where you get these little tiny teeny bottles with these little tiny teeny makeup applicator pads and it's just absurd we're in America we like big big applicators big bottles big everything big trucks big burgers all right so now I'm applying it to the wheel barrel and this is going to make this so much easier to clean not that it's going to get that dirty because I'm changing out the uh, brake pads to the ceramic and I'm going to put on just a little bit more and this um, I mentioned this in the Challenger Hellcat video but the ceramic wheel coating also works great for exhaust tips too and you can use it on chrome all those surfaces alrighty wipe off the excess and you can just see I'm sure it shows up on camera it's noticeable here in person just how much blacker the wheels are even the barrel back here is painted gloss black to match the front which is actually pretty unusual in my experience a lot of companies especially General Motors cough cough they cheapen out and they just had this as like a rough cast material and it it's okay if for a, a subcompact penalty box that costs 14 grand but for a more expensive vehicle, it's really uncalled for, in my opinion. Um, one area I did forget is I'll hit these real quick, or else you guys will blow up, blow up the comments box, calling me a hack. Yeah, these wheels are made in Germany. That's pretty cool. So one of the reasons I, I wanted the Sport model for the GTI is it was one year only, and it came with unique wheels. Um, every other GTI made from, I don't know, 2008 to current, it has the, I don't know if they're called blade wheels, but they all have the same wheel, except for the R, and this one has different wheels, so I get a lot of compliments, and I'm surprised the wheels are made in Germany because the car is made in Mexico. Oh! Caught it. <laughs> so the wheel's been coated now, I've wiped off the excess, um, I'm going to work on the brakes still, so this will cure out in the sun for a little while and then we'll reinstall it and dress the tires and call it a day all right so i just finished ceramic coating the wheel and while the wheel was drying i mentioned i took off the brake rotor the brake calipers off i have a bungee cord up here on one of my ibox springs and this is the brake cal caliper bracket and it goes on like this um, this back side is, is very dirty. I'm not going to bother cleaning that. You never see that. It sits behind the brake rotor. I'm just going to clean in some areas here and there while I have it off, but nothing crazy. I'm not going to clean these channels or any of this. It's designed to have some grease there. That's perfectly fine. Um, this is the brake caliper. This has a piston that squeezes the pads, and the pads squeeze the rotor. That's how the car works. I'm going to clean some of this, but not get too crazy. Just a couple observations. If you plan on working on a Volkswagen or buying a Volkswagen, I just wanted to share. I've watched quite a few how-to videos for these cars, and you hear the term uh, 13 millimeter brought up quite often. And I've worked on a lot of cars. Um, when I installed the exhaust on this car, I have a, a Borla Catback exhaust, 
the one of the videos calls for a 13 millimeter socket and I, I put it on the on the bolt and it just did not feel right to me you know you want these to fit precisely so what I discovered is uh, I think it was a ha yeah, half inch standard size actually fits um, what a lot of videos refer to as use a 13 millimeter the half inch fits it better it fits it perfect so when I did the exhaust the half inch was the ideal size and when I did the uh, the bolts that take the the caliper off the bracket it was the same thing I put a 13 on there it was just a little too loose um, a 12 was too small so I grabbed the half inch remembering what I did a few months ago and it was perfect something else I learned is I took the uh, the brake rotor off and this is pretty common these brake rotors this thing weighs a friggin ton these brake rotors have a set screw so I took the set screw off and then like I have a million times before I grab a old piece of wood this is um, an old three-quarter inch MDF and my three pound sludge and I put the wood on there and I bang it with the three pound sludge and what that does is that it breaks the the, the grip um, of the brake rotor because over time you can see the rust that it, it seizes to the hub what I did not think of is the fact that this is a German car and there there's wheel bolts you don't have wheel studs so what happened and I'm, I'm very very lucky I didn't smash my fingers that were on the ground is I whacked it with the hammer with a piece of wood and it broke it loose and I happened to catch it before it fell on my knee and my hand if it were an American or a Japanese car you'd have the studs coming off the hub like I've done a million times in the past I'd whack it with the hammer it would just break it loose and all five studs would be holding it but this being a German car you don't have that so when I do the other side I'll make sure I I put my uh, my tool in there I don't know what I did with it if any of you have worked on cars you know you got crap all over the place so here it is and then just one other observation not to go too far off topic is this is about ceramic coating wheels but these are the bolts that I use, or that they use to hold the um, the caliper bracket on, and these are 21 millimeter. Of all the brakes I've done, uh, this is by far the biggest, most heavy duty. This sucker was really on there. I think the torque specs are 200 newton meters, which, when foot pounds, I couldn't tell you what that converts to. I did not have room for my regular breaker bar because of the length of it. I couldn't get the angle right. If the car was on a lift, it'd be easy peasy. What I was able to do is a couple years ago, I bought this um, ratcheting breaker bar, one of the best investments I've ever bought, because this one is just a fixed head. Of course, this one is longer, but this was the perfect size, and the fact that it ratchets, I was able to get them off with some muscle, and that's done. So anyway, while this is off, I'm going to grab my extreme iron remover, and I'm just gonna touch up these spots right here Nothing crazy, just the areas I could not get to when the, um, when the caliper was still on the vehicle. And then since this sits like this, clean this right here. So my goal is for when someone sees my brake calipers, they're gonna, what's gonna stand out is the clean part. The sections where you don't even see, I'm not gonna bother cleaning. I'm not gonna get that nuts with it spray some in the brush and if you've watched this far thank you I appreciate the support this has been really fun for me it's been therapeutic today's actually uh, my birthday and you know when you're when you're married you know, your wife always wants you to pick the plans for your birthday and, and my plan was to wrench on cars and make this video for you guys to watch and, and hopefully enjoy Okay, so that's on there. Again, not getting too crazy. I'm not trying to get all this grease off, which I already touched it. Now my brush is all greasy. I'm gonna have to clean it after this video with some degreaser. And don't feel like you have to say happy birthday because by the time this is videos on YouTube, it'll be past my birthday. So. <laughs> And you always want to have your brake caliper um, attached to something. You don't want just want to hang it loose because these are expensive and they're heavy. If it falls, it'll whack your finger. 
I saw in the video, um, I've never thought of this before, using a bungee cord. I've always used some zip ties, but the bungee cord method is easier, and I think it works better too. A little more confidence with it. All right, so I think this is, majority of it's good. And when you hang this, you don't want to kink your brake line either. This looks like it's at an uncomfortable angle, but it's really not. The last thing I want to do is repa replace a brake caliper. All right, this guy's pretty good. And if you're seeing this and you're like, oh gosh, you're not cleaning that, again, it's in the back side, you don't see it. Same thing with this, it's on the back side. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, put my new rotor on and then install my new pads. I'm not gonna film that. This is trying to be a car care video, not a DIY mechanical video. So I'll do that and then I'll come back and we will wrap this up with the finished project. I reinstalled the new brake hardware. We have the brand new OEM made in Germany, uh, Volkswagen Golf R slash GTI Sport disc. And I installed the new carbon ceramic pads. And I was actually surprised, even with 27,000 miles, the brakes were worn about 50%. So these new pads should make a big difference. And I finished cleaning uh, the details on the caliper. This is a used car. It is three years old, so it's, it's not perfect. There's some staining, and it looks like this was maybe like a chemical um, stain from using maybe a, a brake cleaner or some type of solvent. It's in the same spot in two places, so it might even be some kind of lubricated grease. And then the, there's a little bit of staining here on the T for the GTI, but otherwise, the brake caliper looks pretty darn good. And the last step before I put the wheel on is to ceramic coat the brake caliper. And I'm going to do that because it'll make the brake caliper easier to clean. So I applied some coating to my applicator pad. And I'm just going to go over this real quick. So not only will this keep the caliper cleaner, it will also, like I said, make it much, 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 much easier to clean. And I'll tell you, of all the cars I've owned, you know, all the imports, WRXs, multiple Civic SIs, Stage 2s, all this crazy stuff, this GTI is, is by far my favorite. Now the Camaro, my SS1 LE, that's on a whole different level, but in terms of fun to drive, this GTI, man, it's tough to beat. I'm gonna wipe off the excess, and now my caliper is protected with ceramic protection. All right, the last step, to put the wheel on. I guess I prematurely ended the video a minute ago. Can't forget my wheel spacer from shopdap.com. Designed just for this vehicle, hub-centric, fits perfectly. I gotta tell you, I'm quite excited. My energy level is starting to dip down, but now it's going back up because um, we're on the last mile of the race. I'm gonna throw this wheel on, and something my, uh, uh, I learned as a child, my father's or my, not my father, my best friend's father was a mechanic and an easy way to lift your wheels is to use your legs and help support. Get it on my little stud tool I have in there. I have my five lug bolts and I've got the wrong socket on there. Get everything lined up. And this wheel looks killer. I'm excited. Of course, the brake caliper is not going to look that great for long. Or not the brake caliper, excuse me, the brake rotor. But this car, it's, it's been such a joy to drive. And it just absolutely makes me want to pull my hair out when the paint looks amazing. And then the wheels, just after driving to work and back, it's embarrassing. Take my tool out. Put the last lug bolt in. And then I'm going to um, do the other side, take the car for a drive. There was very specific instructions for breaking these pads in. 
And no, I'm not torquing these down right now. I'm just getting them nice and tight, nice and secure. I'm not sure what the torque specs are on these wheels, but I'll find out. But that's the finished product. Thank you so much for watching. I'll take the camera off the tripod here. And I'll show you up close. Don't mind the dirty garage floor. If you were here when I started, or if you recall the before, these wheels were quite filthy. So were the calipers, but now it's a big difference. So thank you so much for watching. Visit mckees37.com for all your car care needs. Thank you and God bless.